Um, we have very uh, robust and very good um, processes in place to manage safety. Yeah? And um, what we're finding though is because the people that we're bringing on board don't um, work in this industry normally, they don't necessarily understand those systems and processes. So we're going through a big um, um, training regime at the moment. We, we're doing a lot of training of new starters and we're also doing specific training for supervisors so that they understand their responsibilities and understand how they can make those systems and processes work for the people who are, they're responsible for. So uh, that's um, overcoming the challenge of people not knowing what to do. People at different stages of their life have different motivations. Uh, a young person in their 20s, um, bulletproof, uh, six foot tall, nothing's happened to me, um, will have a different set of motivators to a person who's you know, just had two kids and is paying off a mortgage. So what my team tries to do is engage with these people so that um, we can get them to understand that we're all on the same team. We want them to go home healthy and happy every day. Um, we don't want them to lose their job for a simple mistake. We don't want them to get injured because of a simple mistake that might be made by them or someone that they're working nearby. We've got a lot of tools that we use. Um, major hazard awareness training is one example and that's used to show people, you, know, you look now and things are contained, it's nice and safe, it's inside the pipe. But if you make a bad decision, uh, or someone working with you makes a bad decision and it's not corrected, what could be the consequences? And using that brings it home and shows people you know, um, something they may never see in their career, and hopefully they do never see in their career, can actually you know, change a life. I want to get to a point where the company doesn't need me. That people understand what the risks are, they have the tools and the knowledge and the awareness to not put themselves or others at risk, and that safety is just something that's ingrained in their DNA. It's what they do every day. They don't need somebody to be watching over them all the time.